Greetings, sapien beings. We're going to go on another adventure in Wildstar today. And you might notice when I've washed my hair, it's not quite dry yet. And so. So. Yeah. Alright. Uh, anyways. Uh, today is Starcom. And things are going to be really exciting, but it's going to be a short episode. Why? Uh, simply because Starcom only allows you to do over quests with one character. The reason behind this is um, all the quests you accept with Greetings. the extra character the are the same quests you accept with Success the Dominion. So the area is not split according to the different you know, stuff. Uh, faction. Also, all the quests are found at the start. And additionally, I chose this time because in and 2 minutes and 45 seconds, the great event in the middle will start. Also, there are a few extra quests in this area. So, let's just see how far we get. Um, one moment, I need to check. Five so, you get 400 five. from this one. In, this will like no it's 400 for every regardless of which one you do okay so yeah just let's go around and check out what we have to do so Ictian quests are active right now which means I have to open these shafts that I called Ictian wands and some water comes out of them and we have to collect something in the air. That's that. Also, we have to kill some guys, kill some Ichthians apparently as well, and deactivate these devices. So, uh, what are we called? Release beasts inside Ichthians egg incubators. So that's that. Okay. And also, as I already mentioned, the big event is going to start soon. It starts every two every two hours yes so depending on where you live it's either even hours or odd hours for me living in germany it's odd hours for uh, england and utc it's even hours yeah. also it's t3 here so uh, you have to be careful you have to kill these guys here like the one i'm attacking right now but they are for five people, or at least supposed to be attacked for five people. The difference is I have completed the matrix and got um, T loot, so I have no problems with them. But if you don't have the gear or the matrix, you might have trouble with these. As I already mentioned, we're supposed to be for five people. You're not supposed to kill them solo. So get some friends or occasionally some people get uh, come by and kill with you. Or you might also ask in the Nexus chat or the map chat people might come and support and help you. Okay. And that's basically it for these small events around there. Because now a big event in the middle stuff, so let's go there first. To do that instead. Okay. So how does it work? The great event in the middle um, always changes. There are three different types, I think. So one type is Ichthian, that's the one we have now. There's also um, like uh, come on, uh, strain and some other types that I can that don't really fit into a certain category. Anyways. So yeah. The goal here with the Ichthian is there are two um, containers that need to be uh, protected in the death event, which is the one we do right now. Double kill. And then the containers can be brought to the outside. The quest of the reefs eliminate kill. pure water Ichthians that are the enemies we kill right now. And Collect impure aquaplasm. So As you might see that there are a few lags. That might be because I have 
because it was too running in the background eventually. Yeah, it's running in the background. I often do this to do better things at the same time. Maybe it's not so not that of a good idea apparently. Oh. Seem to have a lag. Quite a lag. Okay, I'm going to Usually Wildstar doesn't complain so much, so it's a little bit weird to see this, but okay. So, Defumant was done. Some player got it and brought it to wherever you had to, to bring it. Same with this one, so now it's kind of waiting for it to respawn, killing some mobs and that kind of stuff, you know. There we go. Next event is going on. Double kill. So, killing more, definitely more. Double kill. And the time is Triple about kill. a minute. That 45 when I looked at it, that was like a few seconds, so maybe Super more like 50 kill. seconds of depending. Like that. So these, uh, the Starcom event order has several phases. The length of the event totally depends on which one it is. So the strain event, for example, it doesn't take. It takes the shortest, actually. And this one, the Ichthian, I don't know. Actually. I guess it's one of the longer ones. I think it's one of the longer ones. But hey, our video is going to be that short, apparently. There. Oh no! I try my best to get one of these impure plasma things, but maybe, just maybe, I can show you what you have to do with them. But Double it's not kill. really complicated. You just have to bring Triple them outside kill. and interact with something outside. There was another thing that's interesting about this map is um, kill. the path quests are also shared from the factions. And there are a few hidden quests. I think it's six quests and they rotate according to the great event that's happening. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Nice. So one minute you have to hold through, okay. So now the question is, there you have some. A uh, pure water extractor. So you can use it on that. Alright, 87% through. There we are. The one back here is the last one. Okay. So there are six events. I can check it out for while we're doing it. The last one. So here um, you have a small robot. This SCS-001 sustainer. And he has this Ichthian quests. Um, he will stand here now. if he has the drain quests, I think. And he will stand somewhere back here if he has the Red Moon quests. Actually, when I think about it, there's also uh, another one for this SCS. So, some kind of SCS quest, or I don't know. Well, so there are eight quests actually coming to think about it. I think. And we need to count them in as we can only do the two we have right now. And those two are Ichthians. Yeah. I don't know if it's me or if it's everyone else who's lagging. But weird. So anyone, uh, anyways, the last person is going to bring the aqua pleasant to the extractor outside. And once we press F at the extractor and throw that thing on it, I don't know, the quest is probably going to progress further. There we go. So now the next goal is to kill these enemies. We get explosive pieces, 
but I've also shown Double the perfect kill. character. Like I've got one and two. Now we kill another one, Triple and we kill. get three. With three pieces, you are supposed to go uh, bring these ingredients to a constructive explosion uh, thingy. That's this table, basically. And you have to press the Fs on the right time. You have to get it right, or you might lose one of your pieces. And then you get an explosive device. So with an explosive device, we're supposed to make these chunks, uh, these pure water flow joints, explode. So that was one down, 16% finished. So that's basically what we have to do now. Also finish the quest, killing enemies in Starcom. Basically that's the quest we just finished. Two pieces and three pieces again. Works well so far. Right, so going to the table and pressing the F game. Pressing the F in game. There we go, new bomb. So some of those joints are on some hard to get places where are different ways you can like try to climb these thingies here, that's one way to get up. But I should press the running uh, thing also. But you can also walk up here and then... Oh, he got a bomb. I'm going to let him do that. And going to go to the other side instead. Back there. Nope, never mind. Okay. I've once... So once this is done with the uh, joints, if everyone is destroyed, this mob spawns as a five-man mob. And once it is dead, the event is basically over. Well, let's do this. Done. So it was a Starcom Basin event. Nice. I will get this nice... Uh, Cinematic showing how we destroyed the Ichthian Tower, whatever it is. Yeah. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's not it. It's not over yet. Going to con continue some more. So you could, of course, do all the Double events kill. and quests with your Triple kill. Dominion Twink or Exile Twink again. The only difference is you're not getting the uh, 10 times bonus, the daily one. So that's the big re issue here. So yeah. Good. Got this one, uh, this quest done too. Alright. Yeah, let's move on. I anticipate we will uh, we still again. need to do the three those monsters. This one kill. is either of these two. Doesn't matter. Very easy. Got both at the same time. I just have to do one. And the last one is behind this thingy. There we go. Good. Quest done. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cobalt essences. That's what it is today. So, yeah. Um, the explorer quest. That's the current one I have running. You have to get to this jump pad. That will progress the quest. Go to the platform station. Complete it, and then I do a little bit of tricks. So usually you would jump with a jump pad up on this platform here and then move over all the platforms there are. But I like to go on this one and then jump up here. And either there's a platform here or it's somewhere else. Whatever the case we may be, we need to get on this one. That's an important one. Now we just wait for it to go up again. Come on, you can do it. Just go up again.
There you go. So now we can jump over here. Thanks to the movement speed of our mount and the running key. Print key. And last jump. You, you would use uh, small uh, platforms that move between the other ones to get past. Okay. So yeah. So the next step is this platform will come down at some point. We're going to move on it and we'll wait for it to go up. And that's the next checkpoint. So yeah. Here we are. Okay, so our goal is to kill these Double kill. and disable these. There are three of them that we have to disable. So let's continue. Then we need to check, interested, how many quests are there? The Q Star Combat's one. Caretakers of Liberation, that's one. Double kill. Thanks. Two, three, four, five, six, Triple kill. seven. Okay, there are seven quests so far. Seven quests I have accepted. Quest completed, quest completed. I'm scrolling through the chat, by the way, if you don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we have accepted seven quests, we can change our path, so it's eight quests. Double kill. Alright, let's do this gemma and... Yeah. Quest completed, so some of the quests we ha actually have to go back and accept the reward. That's a bit, I don't know, annoying, but whatever. We're going to change our path since we've completed the explorer quest. Oop, it ran out. But I didn't get any falling damage, okay. So, next five mob, uh, five man mob is this one. I've killed that one guy. So I can focus on him instead. This one is really annoying, it can also be really strong. It has some ability that allows it to increase its sword support and all of the stats. We need to be careful at some point, but we haven't used that ability yet. I should have put in another stun. Okay, that's the ability. I mean, it has this buff. It is dispellable, but it increases its assault power by 40%, critical hit chance by 50%. Come on, don't stop casting. And his critical hit severity by 50%, but we were may able to manage him just fine. Alright, so that's that one. Okay, let's move on. Um, so going around. We are uh, here. This is the pirate part, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, lost echo, okay. I'm definitely going to switch out this girl we Another kick is really helpful. Okay, so first mate, Jork. That's the last one of our list of five man mobs. Of that one uh, quest. There's another five man mob we have to kill that we can't right now. But I'm going to talk about him a little bit later. Let's just take care of this one. So I'm not going to CC for now. Whether or not I'm going to CC really depends on which attacks he uses. Like if I can just walk out of this thing then. There's nothing to worry about, but at some point... Uh, okay, I'm going to CC now. So usually I try to keep... Uh, to not CC too early. To make sure that I have the CCs ready 
depending on sh which skills they cast. For example, some AoE I can't get out of easily, or some AoE that gives them a buff that is really annoying, something like that. Alright. So we're analysis. going to accept the quest with a platformer and accept the this one. Scientist quest. So what does the scientist have to do? Um, you will see these weird red teleportation thingies. They are called Elden Maintenance Construct Bay. You have to press G on the standard keyboard. You have to uh, uh, on the standard control. You have to press key. Uh, G, sorry, G to interact with them, to send a robot to them basically. And then you have to press F to start and press F at the right time to do the maintenance basically. And you have to do it like 10 times or something like that. Up and F and then done. 30%. And then we're already more or less through. Which went extremely fast, coming to think about it. And let's check the time. Oh, okay, 21 minutes. Not so fast, apparently. Slower than I expected it to take. And we're still not done. We Double need kill. one more five men enemy. Triple kill. So. And there are also more quests. So. A lot is going on here in this map, and there are also a lot of well, a lot more essences than on the others. Uh, we got sixty percent now. And this one. Attention, Starcom broadcast. Core will be purged in ten seconds. So in ten seconds. The map is returning. The middle is returning to its normal self, and that also means we can kill the five-man mob we're still missing. So that's good to know. Okay, to return to standard. So if you're in the middle while it purchases itself, you're going to be teleported back to the beginning of the map, and where we have a five-man mob, the SCS Prime. Then now is he going to be attack? Yeah, okay. And I'm going to attack too. Okay, so the SCS Prime has this attack where you just have to move to prevent him from um, hitting you. And he has this AoE, which you can just run out, it doesn't do much damage. And then there he has another AoE that I like to CC. It's a big red field and you need to be a bit careful with it because uh, the first or second tick of it actually interrupts you. So can be a little bit annoying, which is also the reason I don't want I want to CC it. So I'm going to wait for it to be done. Um, okay. No, that's weird. Okay, do this one then. There we go. Quest done. Completed. So yeah, that that's quite short compared to others. So let's check back here. None of the NPCs here have some quest symbol. That basically means we have done all quests. And that's also the case. Oh, so we're done. Last Begin check on the chat. The We've accepted one quest, two quests, three quests, four quests, five quests, six quests, seven quests. A little bit later, seven. We still got seven, keep in mind, don't forget. Um, scroll through, quest completed, yeah, sure. Completed two, completed three, completed four, completed five, completed six, completed seven, completed eight. So we did eight quests. There are 
two more from the paths that we can do right now because we have our switching on cooldown. Of course, you could do it on a twink. So we have eight quests, nine tenths. So you might be able to do ten quests. Uh, it usually, if the core um, changes, and it's not the Ichthian event in the middle, the small robot uh, uh, will change its position, and you get up to six different additional quests. But I don't know how many of these are possible in one day, and how much time you have to spend on actually being able to see each of them. So yeah, we got. 10 quests usually and 6 more, so 10 to 16 quests that will be the amount you will be able to do. And we get 400 for each, that means we get 4000 of this area, or depending on whether or not we will be able to see the other ones, we get 6 times 400 additional. So in total that is, come on, calculate it for me, 6400 essences. If you really spending a lot of time but usually it will be just 4000 so yeah short video as i already mentioned um the area doesn't allow you to do the quest bonus with your twinks again but as a compensation you also get more senses you get 400 instead of 240 in this area so um, that's um up i guess i don't know you have to decide so yeah, thanks for watching, um, more videos are going to come and I don't know, stuff like that. Also, tomorrow is going to be a Wildster stream of the raid, so that's really exciting. Okay, so I'm done here, that means Screeny Neko out.